This video is reviewing the bones of the hip and pelvic girdle. Starting with the pelvic girdle, this entire surface and bone is what we call the ilium. So we have a right ilium and we have a left ilium. And remember, they can move um, independently of one another. So everything from the top here down to the bottom is called the ilium. This in the middle is what we call the sacrum. And then we have the coccyx and the femur. So we'll start with the prominences of the ilium. The top edge of the ilium on both sides is called the iliac crest. There's a small prominence on the front of the iliac crest, shown here. And those are called the anterior superior iliac spine. And below those here, we have the anterior inferior iliac spine. Moving down to the middle, we call the small area that connects the two our pubic symphysis. Remember this is a joint made up of cartilage, much like the costal cartilage in the ribs. The small bony prominence on either side of that is called our pubic tubercle. And then the section of the pelvis that's above it is called the superior pubis ramus. The hole or the opening joined between the pubis and the ischium is called our obturator foramen. And then on the very bottom point, of our ischium, we have our ischial tuberosity, ischial tuberosity. Looking at the femur, we have two main prominences. We have our greater trochanter as well as our lesser trochanter. And then we have the head of the femur, or femoral head. We have the femoral neck. And both of those sit in the acetabulum on the uh, ilium. The area of the acetabulum that is shown um, on the front and the, the outside of the femur is called the acetabular rim. And the socket that the hip, or I'm sorry, that the femur fits into um, is called the acetabulum or the acetabular fossa. Looking at the posterior side, again, we have our ilium right and left, um, as well as our femur. We have our sacrum, as well as our coccyx, as well. Now, the joint that's formed between our lumbar spine and our sacrum is called the lumbosacral joint. And that's the articulation between L5 and S1. And then at the bottom of our sacrum, between our sacrum and our coccyx, we have our sacrococcygeal joint. And then our uh, main hip joint, again, is our acetabulofemoral joint. We look at the prominences on the ilium on the posterior side. Again, we find our iliac crest on the top. Below that, we have our posterior superior iliac spine. And our posterior inferior iliac spine. And then we also have what's called our ischial spine, which is the most distal small prominence. Just below each of those, um, we have a couple of areas where the sciatic nerve runs. So this initial area here is called our greater sciatic notch. While the more inferior one is called our lesser sciatic notch.
Again, we have our ischial tuberosity like your butt bone. In this area, it's called our ischium. While the area on the top is called our pubis. And this small area right here would be our superior pubis ramus that we saw on the anterior side. The surface of the posterior side of the ilium is called our gluteal surface. And then on the posterior side of the sacrum, we see this area here, and that's called our spine of our sacrum. Again, we had that lumbosacral joint between the, lum the lumbar spine and the sacrum. We also have a sacroiliac joint between the sacrum and our ilium on either side. And again, we see our prominences of the femur. So we have our greater trochanter. Lesser trochanter. We have the femoral neck. Femoral head that fits in the acetabulum. And then we also have the acetabular rim. That sits around the outside of the femoral head. This view shows us a better angle at that greater and lesser sciatic notch that we talked about. And this was our greater sciatic notch and our lesser. Here we can also see that lumbosacral joint nicely. Again, we have the gluteal surface, iliac crest. Here we can say um, the ASIS or anterior superior iliac spine as well as the AIIS or the anterior inferior iliac spine and see the femoral head and the femoral neck as well as the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter see that ischial spine or I'm sorry ischial tuberosity ischial spine And we have our posterior superior iliac spine and our posterior inferior iliac spine. We can also see our sacroiliac joint. As well as our sacrococcygeal joint. 